Good evening. It's my name is Mindy Shelty. Um, thank you for attending the increasing patient acceptance uh, for Propel Orthodontics. Uh, we will be talking about micro osteo perforations and high frequency vibration, uh, a better way forward. I am Mindy Schulte. I live here in uh, Minnesota. I'll talk a little bit more about myself in just a moment. Um, again, thank you very much for your time, as I do know that evenings are uh, very important to families and um, when you've been in the clinic all day long. I have been compensated in the past for consulting uh, and evaluating products for the sponsors, including Propel Orthodontics. And for my participation in this event, I have received an honorarium from Propel. Uh, please no photographs, oops, no photographs, videos, or audio recordings permitted during this presentation. Uh, like I mentioned, a little bit about me. I am a treatment coordinator at Minnesota Orthodontics in Minnesota, and we have 12 locations. Uh, but again, I am a wife. Uh, I've been married to my husband for almost 20 years. We have two teenagers. I've got some fun parade photos here that um, my, ten my children tend uh, to march in about hmm, six to eight per summer. Uh, so we're just nearing the end as school is beginning here in a couple of weeks. Uh, so my son has got that Yamaha drum and my daughter's got the, she's got her mallets crossed with the sunglasses on that far right screen. Um, looks like my screen is just going to move forward on its own. Apologize for that. Uh, this is the dream team, as we call ourselves, Minnesota Orthodontics. Last August, we went on to uh, a boat and after hitting about 3,000 cases for Invisalign, we had a celebration. We've got the docks in the front. Um, we had a great evening, uh, which is kind of fun actually, because the night that night we were watching Tim McGraw prepare for a celebration that he was going to be doing the next day. So we got to hear a little bit of the uh, test run. So that was pretty cool. Uh, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. I really do believe that. Um, in our clinic, uh, I think that, you know, that smile is everything. Um, I believe that within the first six seconds of your, um, the, your patient, your new patient, a family member, whomever is coming in, uh, that's when they make that that decision on what you, what their impression is going to be on you. So I think that's very important. I try to make myself as present as possible in the clinic. And uh, if there's any takeaway, I think that again, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. So an overview for this evening, uh, we will talk about micro osteo perforations or MOPs, how they work. What are their benefits? Uh, using MOPs with braces and aligner cases. Who are your candidates? And what kind of techniques will be utilized for MOPs? As well, high frequency vibration or HFV. Uh, we call it the VPRO5 as you'll see going forward or if you've used them in your practice currently. Uh, all vibration is not the same. How does it work? And what are the benefits? And how do you integrate that into your practice? Uh, or if you're just starting out, how do you increase that patient acceptance? Pardon me. Uh, and then just scripting. How, what kind of conversation are you going to have? And insurance. How do you submit that to insurance if you choose to? And then I do have some cases at the end that we've utilized here. Um, it looks like my, my screen is going to advance on its own. I apologize for that in advance. So micro osteoperforations, MOPs, how do they work? Uh, this particular slide is uh, just showing um, the 
handpiece that we have in our office. Uh, it's doctor controlled, works well with all brands of brackets or aligners. At our practice, we use the Damon system and Invisalign. It works naturally with your own biology, creates an increase in bone remodeling in targeted areas, uh, and the practitioner wants to enhance any movements or any have a little more control. It also amplifies the response to orthodontic forces in a targeted area and controlled fashion. The results in, or this does result in fast tracking treatment for more predictable and efficient treatment finishes. Uh, an article from the AJODO, uh, just that highlighted piece down there, I'd like to reference uh, that MOPs significantly increased the rate of tooth movement by two, threefold. Uh, this was accompanied by a significant increase in the levels of inflammatory markers. The patients did not report significant pain or discomfort during or after the procedure or any other complications. Uh, we saw one of our uh, MOP patients today here in the clinic, uh, and he's doing fantastic. Uh, the conclusion of that is the MOPs are effective, comfortable, and a safe procedure to accelerate tooth movement and significantly reduce the duration of orthodontic treatment. And NYU MOP studies, how do we know that this is safe? Not only has NYU done up-to-date studies on MOPs, but much more invasive treatments have been done since 1905 to create this type of response. So the science is proven. How can it benefit our practice and our patients? What can you do to make a difference? As we know, we'll talk about in a little bit, uh, the, that millennial stage definitely wants to be done yesterday. And we see a lot of that in our practice as well. So these are the three devices options, uh, the single use, the reusable handle, and the power drive, which again, like I mentioned before, is one that we use in our clinic. It is rechargeable. Uh, so that's a great part of that. It's not something that that you're tossing away as we do know that dental equipment is um, quite expensive. So the devices, MLP drivers create osteoperforations, which stimulate a natural cellular response, harnessing a patient's own biology to accelerate tooth movement. The single use option, if you do choose to use that, has a depth limiter with an LED indicator uh, patented pitch on leading edge, uh, conveniently packaged for single use, and ergonomic design for enhanced tactical sensation and control. Uh, it does have a higher helix thread pitch and soft retractable sleeve mechanism to hold the tissue taut. Uh, the reusable handle, there's two disposable tip options provided. Uh, large handle with textured grip for increased stability and control. The sterilizable handle reduces material waste. And the unique flute angle minimizes soft tissue impact. The power driver with the contra angle head reaches difficult areas with ease. Three speed setting range up to 45 RPMs. It's user friendly with an LCD and push button uh, display. It has a reverse function. Again, it's fully rechargeable and patented thread design creates manual osteoperforations with ease. Uh, one thing that we found is just, you know, making sure that you're watching uh, the how-to videos or um, having your local rep come in and do a, uh, uh, lunch and learn, which is huge because then you're actually seeing it, touching it, and uh, kind of getting a feel for what your doctor and your team uh, would work best for your practice. Uh, the benefits of the MOPs in your patient, for your patients, and in your practice. 
Uh, the be benefits of accelerated orthodontics, of course, fewer offer office visits. That's something that we have experienced with our clinics. Uh, increased profitability as you don't see your patients in the chair as often. Achieved results faster, which again, like I mentioned about the millennials, they definitely want uh, anything done yesterday. Uh, reduced patient burnout as if you would present a 24 month case, sometimes it's difficult for them to stay engaged. And then encouraged better hygiene and having that discussion with them uh, as far as that goes, we see our patients on a 12 to 14 week basis, especially with our accelerated orthodontic patients. And I can tell you when you first mention that to them, their eyes light up like, you mean I don't have to come in every four to six weeks? Yes, that is correct. And we absolutely love it. It makes it a lot easier. And sometimes you, you're like, oh my gosh. I haven't seen Susie for about three months. I wonder how she's doing. I'm super excited to see her today. So the benefits to your patients, minimally invasive, performed chairside in minutes. Uh, we particularly plan an hour, uh, just knowing that uh, there's gonna be times that they're, if you're choosing to numb up your patient, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, that you're giving them enough time and the, and the patient sees that you're taking care of them. Uh, use with aligners and brackets. Accelerated treatment. There's no recovery time and less time off work or school. Oftentimes, as we know, those morning and nighttime appointments as early as 7 a.m. or a little later, uh, people have to go back to work. And I can tell you that it's been a great product and uh, uh, treatment for our patients. So the benefits to your practice, because of course we're always thinking about that and what can we do um, to benefit our bottom dollar. It differentiates your patient, cutting edge technology, attracts your new patients because you're willing to think outside the box and determine, you know, what can we do for our patients to make it easier for them. Increased new productivity, uh, treatment acceptance goes up as treatment time goes down. Premium treatment options for additional revenue. Marketing aspects expands referral network. Streamline current productivity. Be at the next stage, at the next appointment. Reduce those office visits or cases over 50%. And then it eliminates your variables with patient compliance. And as you can see on the right hand of the screen, uh, you know, an average seating for a patient is about $250. And so that could, um, you know, depending on how often you're seeing them, if your doctor is just getting going with that, maybe you're seeing them at eight or 10 weeks until you get comfortable with what you're working with. Um, we do, uh, you know, like I said, uh, the 12 to 14 weeks and uh, we did start at about eight to 10 weeks until we got comfortable with the product that we were utilizing. Uh, the modality, braces or aligners, which would you like to use? Both, either one of them. Pardon me again. Uh, MOPs support all orthodontic modalities. Uh, the, your patient selection. How do you identify good candidates? And it's always going to be a conversation of how you want to do that and how comfortable you are when you're integrating something new or if it's just uh, uh, an additional piece to your practice. Everyone is a candidate. Targeted patients uh, would be something like you know, just run a report over their treatment time. Is somebody going over? Uh, staff recommendation contests, which today uh, we had a contest that rolled out. Um, if it's eight MOPs slash B Pro 5s, $80. That's our particular contest that we're doing right now and it runs for uh, until someone hits that eight. And so we get really excited about it. 
and everybody gets kind of uh, competitive. Uh, so if you've got that competitive type team, uh, that definitely could be something that you're doing in your clinic. Um, and then of course, send special offers to your patients, brides and grooms, uh, parents of children in treatment. Uh, we also run a monthly special at our offices, uh, whether it be for with the, with the MOPs and BPRO5 or something like that. Uh, definitely something that uh, to look at uh, so that you can kind of get that feel and get, get the staff excited and the doctors, of course, as well. Proactive treatment. Build your fee up front for the patients that are concerned with treatment time. Uh, lay it out there. I try to be very transparent when I'm speaking with our patients. Uh, that premium treatment option for patient treatment to be fast tracked is an average about $500, which replace or uh, alternately goes to $20 to $30 additional a month. Uh, I try to have that conversation with families. Of course, we're dealing with a lot of uh, people with multiple children. And try to have that conversation based on, you know, this is gas and groceries or something like that. My children drive. Uh, and so how it's going to work in your budget. When an additional appliance is included to benefit your patient's treatment, are you going to upcharge for at least the cost of the appliance because it will make the life easier for the practice and the patient? If it's a difficult case, walk into the practice, uh, included up to $500 in the cost for their treatment to assure the predictability of the movement and fast track it. No patient wants a two year treatment and not many will remain compliant for this long. That's one thing that we've definitely experienced that if we say 18 to 24 months and we're done in nine or 10, they love it. If you go longer, a little bit disgruntled but we can definitely come back from that. If they don't understand the value, how do you appreciate your offering? Be proactive in how you're going to present this fast track treatment. So reactive treatment. If you're using MOPs to re release a stubborn movement or fast track a movement that is expected to take more than a few appointments to complete, it's much more profitable to do free of charge for the patient than not do it at all. Uh, that's definitely something that is uh, a thought, a thinking point. Uh, if you're having a staff meeting, uh, definitely have those conversations, maybe bring a list of patients that you found that do have stubborn movements or Susie's getting married in January. What can we do for her in the next five months? Often performed for patients over treatment at no charge to complete the case. Explain that value at $1,000 and make patients feel special. Turns a negative to a positive and increases the likelihood of referrals. That's definitely a conversation that we've had at our office. I'm gonna do this for you at no cost. Thank you so much for continuing through this plan. I know that it's been a difficult road, but for your uh, uh, you've been very positive. Uh, we're going to do this uh, little last bit of accelerated treatment at no cost. So the technique, recommendations and guides. How many MOPs are we going to do? What's the doctor going to treatment plan? What do they see? Do they see it uh, right away that something's going to be difficult or, or partially through. Uh, where possible, perform one to two dimples depending on proximity of anatomical structures. Perforations can be made buccal or lingual in linear or triangular patterns. As you can see here on uh, the screen, there are some example ideas in the model. So for anesthesia, the recommendations that we would give is a compounded topical or BTT. And in our clinic, we use Woodland Hills Pharmacy. I believe they're in either Kansas or Missouri. Uh, so if there's uh, something that 
if you're going to be prescribing this or you want to order this particular topical, there is some background work that you have to do because it would be, if you're not in that particular state where they're at, um, or your local pharmacy, if you wanted to ask them that question as well, if they have something like this formula, uh, because that topical would be crossing state lines, there is a little bit of background work that you have to do. So just using your timing appropriately, as far as that goes to making sure that you have this particular product in your clinic, if you're choosing to use it, of course, before your patient arrives. And then as well, you can do your local infiltration. Uh, you can use septicane, articane, or uh, epinephrine. And so you can get that from your local rep. We particularly use Patterson. And so we have that available for us if your doctor is uh, one that likes to do the local infiltration. And then of course, following all of those guidelines and making sure you're charting that information if you're utilizing either one of these products as part of your chart note when the patient is in the clinic. So a tray setup. Of course, as dental, we like to have everything ready to go. Uh, so just an idea of what you would have, have your topical or your anesthetic, whatever you're choosing. Um, some cotton or cotton tipped applicators and you can see on the screen a timer if you don't have one in the area. Uh, maybe bring the patient to an adult area if that's an option in your office or somewhere away if you find that it's going to be uh, a situation that uh, might take a little bit more time and so they're not feeling like a lot of people are walking by them. This is a photo of 30 minutes post-treatment. Uh, as you can see, it looks pretty darn good to me. So post-treatment instructions. The patient may experience some tenderness around the treatment site for uh, 24 to 48 hours. The sensitivity is similar to that of an orthodontic adjustment. Uh, so like you ran an extra mile and your muscles are a little bit sore, something like that. Uh, patients should not take any non-steroidal anti-inflammatories or Advil, Tylenol, Aleve, or excuse me, Advil or Aleve, uh, Tylenol should be the what's recommended uh, if there is discomfort. Acceleration may be repeated in two to three months or as needed. And post-treatment instructions are similar for local or topical anesthetic. Of course, like I mentioned before, if there's some sloughing of the gum tissue, uh, make sure that you let your patients know so they don't feel alarmed. High frequency vibration or HFV. How does it work? So not all vibration is equal. High frequency waves are shorter, Low frequency waves go longer in the time frame. Frequency does matter. High frequency vibration devices have clinical, clinically demonstrated to be superior to low frequency vibration devices in regard to the biology necessary for tooth movement and retention. Studies on HFV improving aligner accuracy uh, the key findings with a five-day change in VPRO5 is their superior tracking versus seven days. Uh, same tracking as if it was a 14-day change. Uh, we particularly in our clinic allow our patients with the VPRO5 or the HFV, whichever you choose to call it, uh, do a four-day change if they're using that product. If they're not, it's a seven-day change. So the study design, uh, you know, it's randomized, it's controlled. Uh, there was 60 subjects, and you can see in the graph that it's about the same with that 14-day control and the five days plus that VPRO5, which I think is my new best friend, actually. So the study summary, it's used for five minutes per day. The VPRO5 can improve accuracy while reducing intervals between aligner changes and significantly reduces pain and discomfort. Uh, also, that VPRO5 significantly increases bone remodeling markers and cytokines. 
So one thing that uh, we mentioned in our clinic is uh, you want to make sure that you're wearing your aligners when you use your V-Pro 5 and at night. So you're not going to take them out the next day or until the next day. So the benefits of high frequency vibration. Active treatment and retention patients uh, have improved aligner seating. We have amazing results when it comes to the, the active treatment piece. Uh, additional benefits, again, it reduces pain. Uh, refinements or a new series in our clinic is reduced. That's the words that we use. Uh, the treatment time is reduced. The bone remodeling is increased and retention bone density is increased. High frequency device options, generation one and generation two. On the right side of your screen is the one and on the left side is the two. And we'll talk a little bit about the, two, the difference between the two uh, devices. So the V-Pro 5 is five minutes per day, gradually ramps up to a full vibration, intuitive light notifications, easy to maintain mouthpiece, and patient tracking, tracking software for your practice. Uh, and then it's got a cord with the USB that plugs into the wall and uh, there's an activation light that you can uh, see when you turn it on. Uh, it, it, I think it's a great idea to have a sample in your clinic or your at least your treatment coordinator room so that you can have the patient actually touch and feel that vibration as you're talking about it. And of course, having your uh, brochures. Um, I, I like to touch and feel that paper so that I can read about it. Uh, oftentimes, as we know, it's going to go in the trash. But if you put the patient's name on it and, and make it their own and, and show them uh, a key point as part of that, so then maybe it feels a little bit more or less like just a piece of paper. And then the V Pro 5 Plus, five minutes per day. Uh, it's waterproof, wireless charging. There's a compact travel case, which I think is fantastic, uh, especially with the teens. If you're going to utilize that, then they can take it with them uh, or off to college. Uh, if you have an aligner patient uh, heading out of state, then you definitely can travel with that. And then there's a patient mobile app for tracking the usage. And so definitely you can see that and then uh, you can ask them, you know, if you have a sheet that you want to have available or something online and you just want to check everything out or, or just write it down in their chart notes. Increasing the patient acceptance. Presenting the MOPs and the HVF to your patients. How are we going to talk about that? What kind of conversation are you going to have? How do you integrate that into your conversation as your new patient consultation. <clears throat> Building blocks to success. The team members definitely need to be on board with the products that you are uh, presenting to your patients. Explain to each patient all the products offered in each office and definitely plant that seed at your consultation. It's a constant conversation. Um, it's never a no until uh, maybe they're done with treatment at that point and they want to just do it with retention. But bring it up again two to three appointments later. Would you like to switch your aligners every three to four days? Usually after about that three to six month mark, maybe they might be on board. Maybe financially they're a little bit more ready as far as that goes. Uh, patients can start any time with accelerated orthodontics. Proactive versus reactive. The doctor needs to present that accelerated orthodontic treatment every time in that consultation. It's just a consistent, the more you talk about it, the more comfortable you become. And uh, again, having that sample in the clinic definitely is a great talking point. Quote a flat fee and collect the money up front. In our clinic, we charge $500. 
Sometimes we'll run a special and maybe it's a little bit less. Uh, just depends on what's going on in the offices. And then no one rushes out of your office to tell their friends and family when treatment is gonna go longer than expected. Yes, it's gonna be 26 months instead of 24. Probably not. What's better than words? Pictures. Lots of pictures. You definitely wanna take those. We take photos on our patients uh, in accelerated treatment every single visit. If they're non-accelerated, then we take them every six months. And it is amazing how you can just show them what what's, you're seeing as the clinician and they're starting to see the movements and they get really excited about it. Educate and build a office value. Educate your patient on different treatment modalities. Educate on Invisalign treatment. Generates opportunities with families um, and their friends. Invisalign treatment benefits and doctor experience. How long have you been working with these products? Are you on a line faculty? Uh, do you speak across the country? Uh, and have those conversations with them so you feel good about it. Uh, our doctor, Dr. Blevins, she is a line faculty. And so she just, she puts it out there and she makes it easy for us as staff to feel good about what she's bringing to the table at the new patient exam as well. And of course, in the clinic. Can you treat complex malocclusion? Maybe not in the beginning, maybe do something that you're comfortable with. And if you feel like it's out of hand or in, in your mind, then maybe you just wanna back take a step back and think about it. Is this something that I can do? You wanna set yourself up for success. With weekly aligner changes, it can offer up to 50% shorter treatment time with accelerated orthodontics. It's less painful, more convenient than braces. Emphasize to the patient, the compliance is a success factor for all treatment modalities. So your relationship with your patients, uh, feel felt found. It's something I've been using uh, for a very long time. Uh, Jack, I understand how you feel. Others have felt this way. And what we has, have found that works best for our practice is this and present that to them. Build that relationship. Uh, I talk to, you know, even if it's a, an eight year old little girl or boy sitting in the chair, definitely have the conversation with them. They're the patients. They're the ones that have to have uh, the aligners or the brackets in their mouth. And you definitely want to talk to the parents as well because they have to support them. But just letting them know that, you know, we're not just talking to mom or dad. When to bring up that acceleration early and often. And I love that. Bring it up in the initial consultation as a recommendation or option. Typically after we have discussed aligners or brackets and have an estimated treatment time. Doctor leaves the room, you know, uh, Dr. Blevins will always mention, make sure we talk about that VPRO5, or she'll say, uh, I think we wanna do some MOPs in this particular area, and she'll point out those tooth numbers, and then I can just write that down in the chart notes. Bring it up to the patients paying in full instead of offer and offering a discount. Bring it up when the patients have a deadline that they want to meet, like a wedding or military deployment or off to college, something like that. Bring it up when the patient asks, how much longer do I have in treatment? That's definitely a conversation that you should have if, if uh, you're talking about that in the clinic, because that's a sign that your patients are done. They're just, they want to be moving forward. Bring it up when a case stalls. Don't ask if they want it recommended. And then that's where you could do that option of letting them know that you're gonna give it to them at no cost if that's something that works well for your practice. Bring it up whenever you see the patient again. Encourage the assistants to ask because it is a team effort. Talking about the MOPs. 
We have dental dimples as an accelerated treatment option in our office. Dental dimples are a simple in-office treatment done during your regular appointment. Afterwards, you can go on with the rest of your day. The dimples stimulate the bone around the teeth to release stubborn tooth movements and also accelerate a treatment. Uh, we place a numbing gel on your tissue, possibly getting you numb with an infiltration. And then with a sterile disposable tip, make a small dimple around targeted teeth where the most movement is needed. Definitely utilizing that dimple word. I know that our local rep uh, has said, you know, you definitely want to make it user friendly for that uh, patient or consumer that you have coming in. Dental dimples are like a five hour energy for your tooth movement. Uh, and I'm definitely going to use this in my clinic because it's, it's a great way to say it with everything that's going on. <clears throat> this treatment amplifies your response to orthodontic forces and allows your teeth to move easier and faster to their ideal finish. Treatment is simple, takes just a few minutes, and is performed during one of your regular appointments. There's no downtime, so you can resume, resume your everyday activities right when you're done. Talking about the HFV or VPRO5, as you can see on the right of the screen, uh, how your good fit and your poor fit aligners would be, uh, we call that poor fit daylight showing through. Can we see daylight? If you can see daylight, then you have to get a better fit. And that's where we would uh, talk about either MOPs or the HFV and, and what can we do to utilize these products to allow for the patient to have better success with their aligner treatment. The VPRO5 device is a high frequency vibration device used for five minutes a day, reduces treatment time and alleviates any discomfort that you may have during treatment, <clears throat> or if you've forgotten to wear your retainers. It adds tremendous value to your treatment, and you can even use it during retention to keep you on track. It's an insurance policy that seats your aligners better to ensure a proper fit and reduce refinements, or a new series as we call it. And then also you can monitor your children's usage if you choose that that's a, a, a feature you would like to utilize. Combining the MOPs and the HFV. For the best results, we combine both in-office and at-home treatments. After your MOP, you use the VPRO5 at home to continue the accelerated effect and gently seat your aligners better with less discomfort. One thing also, uh, maybe giving them a package deal. Uh, if you decide that you want to utilize both in your practice, combo those dollars and allow them to feel like they're saving some dollars. Increasing your case acceptance. Adult patients need and desire orthodontic treatment. Aesthetic options are available, such as aligners and lingual braces, yet the majority still have not sought treatment. What's the reason why? Will teenagers who prefer to go to high school without braces finish their treatment before graduation photos? or go to college without metal mouth, be interested. We just did senior photos for my daughter this week. So it's definitely something on my mind, especially when I'm talking to my, my patients. Consider two options, aligner therapy, accelerated aligner therapy for three to $500 premium. Your case acceptance at three day aligner intervals may just surprise you. And I can tell you this is for sure something that we have noticed. Patients chose your practice for a reason. They trust you, they listen to your recommendations. People have talked about your practice in the neighborhood. Patients can't take advantage of this desirable option if they don't hear about it from you. Treatment should be offered to every patient. If it's something that you're just starting to have a conversation about, then Maybe just think about, okay, maybe we're gonna just talk to the adult patients right now or something like that. Just have that kind of in your mind. Running those reports, like I mentioned before, and talking to Susie or Johnny uh, about adding this into their treatment plan. So the TC doctor challenges and objections. 
I'm afraid of needles and blood. Explain that accelerated orthodontics is a predictable procedure that works with their biology. We will put you at ease, walk you through each step and be done in just a few minutes. They may feel a little pressure and some slight soreness after, but this will cut their treatment time in half. And who doesn't love that? Not sure I want my son to be treated with a new product. Well, it's not a new product. It's the same old proven technology and the science has been around for decades. I'm not ready to commit. That happens a lot. That's okay. You can begin this anytime in treatment. You don't have to start right now, but we can talk to you about it anytime that we have that conversation in the clinic. The patients might say, I don't want to do the dimples. If the doctor recommends those dimples and the TC or assistant makes the treatment sound simple and easy, there is little not to want to not want. Assure the patient of the quickness, ease, and effectiveness of doing those dimples. What if my kid won't use the V-Pro5 every day? Luckily, you can track it. Love the technology. Also, it alleviates any discomfort from orthodontics, so we find that kids and adults alike are very happy to use it every day. Some offices use V-Pro5 to incentivize children for good hygiene and flossing. That is one thing that we utilize in our clinic as well. The patients will stop paying if you finish them faster? Mm, false. Especially if you set them up on a payment plan. If they're going to, going to default on payment, studies show that they do it within the first six weeks of treatment. So what do we charge? Well, it varies. We per, in, personally have 13 locations, four doctors, and love to have an individual patient care. Most of our locations have increased the fee by $275, and every single patient gets high frequency vibration. Dr. Blevins was very adamant about this after seeing her results with the V-Pro5. And that's across, I mean, we're across the Twin Cities in Minnesota. So it's definitely something that we've utilized and it has gone well. Some locations still do an upcharge of three to $700 for the V-Pro5 and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's just what works best for your particular area utilizing that usual and customary fee. Similar with dimples, sometimes we add it in reactive or tough cases, and sometimes we add an upcharge of $300 to be proactive or bill insurance. So there are different types of patients. We've all seen them, permission seekers, shoppers, analyzers, that permission seeker. These are the people who need to speak to their husbands or wives before getting started. My constant conversation is, are they coming? Are they coming to the consultation that they created for you? These people like your office, they want to get started, but need you to convince them that it's okay for them to get scheduled. So personally, I would say, okay, let's get you scheduled. Go home, talk to your husband or wife, your significant other, and if it doesn't work out, we can always move that appointment. The shoppers. These are the people who we have seen two to three orthodontists who are looking for the best deal in town and who definitely wants to bargain that price with you. I do have one little story to tell that we had a family, we were consultation number seven. We did start them and the entire family over time, but seven orthodontists, who wants to go to seven? I know I don't have time for that. These people will require your facts to be correct when presenting your fees and your treatment plan. And unfortunately, you don't know when that's going to happen. So you do want to be prepared when they're coming in for every patient. The analyzers. These are the people who are engineers, doctors, lawyers, or someone who works in the medical or dental field. 
and they've had tons of questions and want an explanation for everything. Who hasn't had that? Be prepared to spend a lot of time with them. And unfortunately, you might run over time and you might have to have somebody to help you with your next patient. But if you've got your facts, oftentimes you can get these people signed up. So the doctor's closing remarks. Before your doctor leaves the consult room, always have him or her say, my team and I would be honored to have you join our orthodontic family. We feel privileged that you come to that you have come today to hear why we approach your orthodontic needs. Dr. Blevins will say, welcome to the family. She shakes everybody's hand before she walks out. And it's up to us to have that conversation once she leaves. My team and I want to know that we do not want finances to be a barrier to get into orthodontics. Again, talk about that. Give them options. Have a lower down payment if that's something that's flexible in your clinic. Talk about uh, flexible spending or health savings accounts using those pre-tax dollars. We always allow enough time in a consultation to get started today. So if you want to begin, we can uh, start and your aligners will be delivered in two weeks. Uh, I can tell you that today we started every single patient in our office that we saw um, six or eight patients. Everybody started with Invisalign and just about everybody's going home with a VPRO5. So billing insurance for those MOPs. The code is a D7320. It's a non-ortho claim. Uh, note what quadrants and include which teeth you're going to be working on as you can see in this example. You may need to add using the Propel to perform alveoplasty to temporarily decrease bone density. Uh, just utilizing uh, your dental words and giving them as much information as they need so you can submit that claim. When booking the appointment, offer to get them in the chair today take impressions or scan. Otherwise, your new patient should never have to wait more than seven days to get scanned or put brackets on. If the schedule has production slots built into it, there should always be an availability. I'm always asking my doctor, do we have time to do this today? Uh, at our practice, we take all records before the doctor comes into the exam, and then we're available to go ahead and do that start if they wanted to do something like that uh, in the beginning. If the patient wants to wait a little longer than seven days, they do start to lose interest and might try to back out. Timing is everything. So have that available for your patients as it is important to uh, let them know that you're there for them. So here are a few photos a couple of patients that we've had in our clinic. This particular patient, uh, we planned for 18 months, utilizing the VPRO5 and the MOPs, and we finished in 10 months. A little bit of crowding, overlapping. Most of these particular patients have had orthodontic treatment in the past. A couple of them that I'll show you have not, uh, but great result. Here's a little arch form, mid arch narrowness on this same particular patient. So that bone remodeling, utilizing that uh, V Pro 5 and the MOPs on this particular patient. Uh, we did it in the first phase of treatment, the first three months. Nice arch form. This is a nice case, a little flaring of the uh, laterals and a little open bite. So it's nice to see that anterior result, uh, some uprighting of the teeth uh, with the aligners. And this particular patient we planned for 14 to 20 months and finished in 12 months. Very nice case. 
there's a buckle shot of that particular patient. Thought I'd highlight that lateral that was sticking out, tucks in really nicely. Uh, patient is extremely happy and she's been out of treatment for about a year and a half. This particular patient uh, came in and <clears throat> actually didn't want to do any kind of treatment. We talked about aligners, how easy it was. Uh, this particular patient is does a lot of traveling, so it was difficult for him to get in. And as you can see, uh, we treatment plan for eight months, or excuse me, 18 months, and he finished in nine. And then you'll see on the next screen that uh, there's a crown there. Looks like there's a mirror image on one of those photos, but that crown has been replaced and retainers have been in place. So it looks very nice. Nice result. The lateral uh, incisors look great. And that mid arch narrowness giving them a nice broader arch form. Actually, I'd like to back up to this photo again. I think that looks really nice as far as just giving that nice big smile. This patient that has uh, anterior crossbite, we did MOPs on her initial Invisalign insert appointment. She utilizes the V Pro 5 uh, every, ni every night, changes her aligners every three to four days. Uh, this is a progress photo. As you can see, there's some attachments here. Uh, so she's about seven months into treatment and we have her slotted for about 18 to 24, but uh, it remains to be seen as to when she'll be finished. Kind of highlighting how that lateral has come out on, on the right side. Great results, patient's extremely happy at this point. This particular patient, again, nice result. Main concern was just uh, doing a little bit of crowding. Got that arch development, uh, helped with that lateral that's flaring out. Uh, was a 12 month treatment plan. And we finished in about eight months. Again, you can see that mid arch narrowness, giving them that nice broad arch form. This was a difficult patient as that bicuspid is a little bit smaller. And so of course you have to compensate for that and explaining that to the patient. Uh, they did understand that at that point when we talked about it in the consultation. And again, uh, just widening out that arch, patient wore those, the aligners uh, every three days, changed your aligners with the V-Pro5 and we did the MOP uh, two times on this particular patient, once in the beginning and once about six months later, as those cuspids were uh, just not wanting to give us a little uh, enough bone remodeling. And then this particular patient, um, you can kind of see on that anterior photo, <clears throat> a nice arch form. It's kind of fun to see these photos. You know, when you're working with them every day, it, uh, Definitely, you kind of get caught up in the moment. Uh, so seeing these photos really definitely encourages us to do more. So in conclusion, setting your goals. What are your first steps in turning the invisible into the visible? What are your takeaways? What is one thing that you will implement tomorrow or next week or this month? Set a goal. Without goals, you won't see a change. Find what makes you unique and use it. Give each patient an experience every time they come in, one patient at a time. Thank you very much. Highly appreciate your uh, time. And I will open up this time for some questions. So 
if you have any questions, you can absolutely uh, type it in the box and I can answer any questions if you have any. Uh, you can definitely, uh, if you want to have a question, you can email me. Uh, my email is m s c h u l t e at minnesotaorthodontics.com. Again, I'll say that again. It's m s c h u l t e at minnesota, all spelled out, orthodontics.com. If you have any other questions that you're thinking about. Uh, there's a question coming through here. Can we use all kinds? Can we use this with all kinds of tooth problems? Yes, uh, rotations. As we know that cuspids are difficult to move. Laterals just depends on what's going on with that case. If you find or your doctor finds that the something is being difficult as you've started treatment. Uh, then treatment plan those MOPs and target those particular areas if it's a particular tooth. If you want to definitely uh, utilize it from the beginning and having your uh, the V Pro 5 available right away, which I highly recommend, uh, then definitely that's something that uh, you, you want to talk with your patients about. Would you give it to every patient if you could? Yes, every single patient. If it was free to me, then absolutely something uh, that you could give to your patient. I think it's a, a definitely a conversation that should be part of your consultation and presenting it to every one of your patients. So again, I want to thank you for your time, as I know time is precious. And uh, if there's something that you want to shoot me an email uh, later on, you absolutely can. I will do my best to answer it. And if I cannot, uh, I will definitely find the answer for you. So thank you very much for your time. And if there isn't any other questions, uh, please email again. I can definitely say the email. It is M S C H U L T E at Minnesota, all spelled out, orthodontics.com.